melancholy. The word lingered through my mind. I had no reason to exist now. All I was was a grieving teenager. I was soon to propose to my longtime girlfriend, but those dreams were shattered. I stared at her dead body, crying. I did not know why somebody would do this. I had, and still have, a huge feeling that Bruce was involved in this. How I hate him. Bruce was always that stereotypical, entitled brat. His parents gave him anything he wanted, and when he ever did something terrible, his parents would pass it off as, Oh, it's fine. It was also worth mentioning that he was a huge, I mean huge, Sonic the Hedgehog fan. He was a diehard fan. He was obsessed. I met him in fifth grade when all the drama began. Everyone was looking for a boyfriend or girlfriend, depending on your gender. There were people who participated, Bruce included, and there were people who knew better to just stay out of it. And finally, there were mixed bags, people who participated in the drama, but at the same time, didn't. I was one of those people, along with my now late girlfriend, Angela. Bruce would always try to get Angela's attention, but to no avail. During math class one time, our teacher, Mr. Jerome, was yelling at Bruce for having his master's system out during class. <clears throat> However, Bruce was defending himself by saying, I just wanted to play some Sonic, dumb I! In his annoying accent. In the end, Bruce got his master system taken away. And he looked... Happy? Wow. Creepy. After this ordeal, Mr. Jerome decided to poke fun at the drama. There were two students who I also feel... Who I also feel played a huge part in Angela's death. Their names were Destiny and Carter. Dear God, where do I begin with these two? Just like Bruce... They were die-hard Sonic fans and had no remorse for their bad actions. Destiny, Carter, and Bruce were the three kids who caused the most drama. Carter would constantly cheat Destiny. Destiny, along with her two other friends, Adria and Rumi, would constantly swear at people and annoy them. Bruce was just an idiot. Nothing more, nothing less. They would constantly trash the school putting up posters of Sonic the Hedgehog, because they're diehard fans, throwing desks, hijacking the intercom. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. Mr. Jerome had a math activity that required partners. He assigned the partners. He chose Destiny and Carter as partners. The class let out a large, ooh, and Mr. Jerome said, What's the matter with you? They're just lovebirds. Bruce then went into his bag. He never put his bag in his locker, only below his desk. He had somehow, some way, snuck a knife to school. Let me reassure you that this was not your average butter knife. It was a real one. A kitchen knife. Me, sitting beside him, asked him quietly, Why do you have that? You'll see. Bruce whispered. Then, I could not believe it. He threw the knife. It hit Mr. Jerome in the head. The knife's blade, yes, the blade, hit him in the head. It punctured. The knife stuck out of his head. Mr. Jerome collapsed within a matter of seconds, and a few students went to help him. The rest of the class obviously panicked. Bruce got his master system and ran out of the room, laughing evilly like a demon. Angela ran over to me, grabbed my hand, and dragged me to chase Bruce. Bruce was down the hall, far from our classroom. I then noticed that the strongest kid in our classroom, who was also Angela's brother, Chuck, was also chasing him. From what I remember... He wasn't the only kid who wasn't panicking, but was rather disgusted. He called up to him and restrained him. Angela then asked him, What did you think you were doing? 
Bruce just laughed and said, Just trying to impress you. Angela then screamed about how she did not like Bruce and telling Bruce to stop trying to impress her as it wasn't going to work. The class then went home early. An ambulance was called to take Mr. Jerome away and the school day and the school day for the rest of the school went completely as planned. However, for the rest of the day, people were talking about the event and people were theorizing on topics like, why did Bruce do it? And is Mr. Jerome going to survive? Of course, me, Angela, and Chuck knew the answer to both of these questions. One week later, the school learned that <sighs> Mr. Jerome unfortunately passed away after the attack. Apparently, from what the school heard and what was shared, the blade had gone way too far and struck his brain, killing him the instant the knife hit him. All three of us knew it. We knew Mr. Jerome wouldn't be coming back. The entire school was scared of Bruce after the incident, and females with personalities similar to Bruce instantly fell in love with him. Bruce wound up being sent to juvenile for two years and was expelled. His parents somehow got him back when he was freed. I was now in seventh grade. The entire school had almost forgotten about the incident, but when Bruce came back, so did the nightmares.